everyone, Mr. Merkich here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to create the black bubble mood, which I promised if the video hit 20 likes, and it actually did. So here I am going to be showing you how to do that today. Um, so this is pretty much it. This is the HTML tag. It's a zap button. Not quite sure how it was found. Uh, I personally didn't find it myself, but I've had it for many, many months, and I was, well, I like to think I was one of the first people with it. I've had it for a, like a long time um, but anyway it's getting around more lots of people have it so I thought why not show it um, for everyone else to use now I've had my time with it so pretty much as that button I've not done too much experiment with it but as you can see it takes some parameters which is the action is resume so I'm guessing you might be able to do play or pause or something like that and there's also the template um, this one is medium button text dark, so maybe there's medium button text light or <coughs> large button, something like that. So I'm leaving it down to you to experiment with it, because uh, I, I haven't actually done it myself. Um, so what you want to do is the same as before, the loading mood, you want to do skype.currentuserprofile. Current user profile, and we need to use rich mood text again as it is a HTML tag, and we're going to put that in. But this one is a little different because uh, if you look, let me open this back up. We paste that in here. You'll see that the string is split up because what we actually want to paste in has a speech marks in, which obviously is going to split the string. Um, so there's many ways we can tell the program that we want the speech marks inside the string. Um, I'll show you probably the simplest way. Um, but in between the tag, the closing tag, this is where the text is actually going to be. So first of all we want to get the text box number which is 35. And we want to add just two pluses in real quick. And uh, right in here, text box 35.text and it's going all messed up because the string is all crazy but this will be its own little string here uh, this will be our text and then obviously we want one here uh, this will this one here will be the main one with the very first one so we need to split the strings up now we can just put two uh, if we put two together on each one where it needs to be together I'll explain it so that's it complete now you can see it's all one and the text will be in the middle uh, but we added two because if you put two speech marks it tells it that well lets it know that it's one but you want it inside the string it's kind of confusing there's many ways you can use plus or and quote and then that'll put one in or you can use the unicode character which I believe is number 34 which will also create a speech mark uh, but you can also just put two together to let it know that so that's probably the easiest way um, so that's all there is to it really you can launch the program up and I'll give you an example of it so let me head over to Skype uh, you'll see actually let me copy my mood so I don't lose it uh, we'll put it in we'll just put in test and we'll hit set mood and you'll see we got the black mood with the text that we put in it's kind of messed up like it, it doesn't go centered but the the longer text you write and uh, the more centered it sort of goes it's you kind of you got to play around with it yourself you can see it's moved over a bit more now and you'll sort of get the hang of it when you use it a lot more um, but that's really it for this video um, thank you for getting the other video to 20 likes if we could get some more on this one that would also be great and I'll try to get around to making more videos I've not been very active lately but yeah I will try to get active again uh, so thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like and a comment, and I'll see you next time.